Hello guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you how you can keep using Windows XP after April 8th, 2014. Now, this is probably not the best method of staying secure, uh, as you should probably just go and update to a newer version of Windows, but if you don't want to do that, or if you just have like an uh, older computer laying around that is still running Windows XP, this is a perfect way to keep getting Windows XP updates that are still pushed out by Microsoft. Now, I would like to thank um, John Dem for posting this comment and making this aware to me on my Windows Embedded POS ready video and he basically says that he found this site and there's another way to to do this and this might actually be better for some of you guys than having to install this whole other operating system as you can just get the uh, POS ready updates in Windows XP without even having to install that whole other operating system so uh, I will link the uh, site that he mentioned as well as uh, the download link to this file that you're going to need and just to show you that I am using Windows XP I'm going to go to the start menu and I'm going to go into Winver here and you can see we're running Microsoft Windows version 5.1 build 2600 SP service pack 3 as, as, you, as you can see over here copyright 2007 and also prove that you cannot get any more updates on this version of Windows XP I'm going to launch Microsoft Windows update here and it's going to check for updates and I'm going to go to the custom option here and I'm just going to show you that we can't actually get any more updates because Microsoft isn't pushing them out anymore so as you can see here we have no updates to choose under any of these categories uh, there are zero updates and you cannot uh, install them because obviously we don't have any to install so basically Windows XP is not going to get any more updates uh, from Microsoft, but if you are still using Windows XP and you want to get the Windows embedded POS ready updates, and I will also have that video down below uh, in the video description, uh, you can go down, download this one file right here. It's going to be in this zip file called XP Security Updates.zip. If you extract that, you're going to get this folder with this one uh, .reg file. And if you edit this with Notepad, you can see this is all it does, it just changes one line in the uh, Windows registry, which is basically, I would say, tricks the Windows updates installer into thinking that this is Windows Embedded POS Ready 2009 and not Windows XP, so it's gonna still install updates. So all you have to do is just uh, double click on this, and it's going to say, are you sure that you want to add the information in and then like the entire uh, directory name uh, into the registry, and you wanna just select a yes, and then it's going to say information was successfully added, was successfully entered into the registry. So just click on OK. And then you can close out of that. And now if we go back to Windows Update, it's going to open up here and we're going to check for updates again once it loads. We're going to go to the same thing, custom. And it's going to check for the latest updates for your computer. And as you can see here, now we have four high priority updates. Now, none of them say Windows XP, but we do have some in here like a uh, security update for Windows Internet Explorer 8 for WPoS and POS Ready 2009, uh, so something that Windows XP wouldn't get, and a uh, security update for Microsoft.NET Framework and something else for .NET Framework. Now, uh, in his comment, he says that you should not use automatic updates and you must manually install them because a couple of these were not made for Windows XP. Um, and he says that you might be able uh, to download them, but I'm, I mean, I wouldn't really take that risk. So updates like these that say, uh, like security updates, I mean, I guess you could try to download them, but I'm not really sure if it, uh, would work with Windows XP. So you might just want to uh, uncheck this as well, but you, but you can see we can get these updates here and just click on install updates and they are going to download and if you want to uh, disable automatic updating because you do not want to get the updates that are not built for Windows XP uh, to do that you just want to go into start control panel and once this comes up here you're going to want to go into the I believe it's the security center if I'm not mistaken 
and then automatic updates and then you want to turn off automatic updates apply and okay and it's going to say that your computer might be at risk but of course you're going to just ignore that because you know you're, you're still going to be having to check for uh, updates but as you can see it is uh, installing these updates and once it does I'm going to let it install and then restart the computer to show you that it does actually work uh, so we'll, we're just going to wait for that here alright so the installation has been completed so we're just going to click on the restart now button and the virtual machine here is going to simply restart and as you can see we're booting right back into Windows XP just as normal and yeah that's basically it this is a very simple way to still use Windows XP after April 8th 2014 now this is probably not the best way to um, you know stay updated with uh, the latest operating system patches from Microsoft but if you don't feel like upgrading to anything past Windows XP or if you still have an older computer that's on Windows XP uh, this is another great option and I'm gonna let you guys decide whether this option or uh, completely installing Windows Embedded POS Ready uh, is the better option for you uh, but again guys thank you so much for watching thank you John for the video idea and as always I will see you guys in the next video Thank you.